Hi Sagis, how are you guys doing? Welcome to Sagittarius Tarot and another daily oracle reading. Look, this is getting bigger, y'all. <laughs> I keep on adding coins. So, yeah, that's amazing. All right, well, welcome to today's reading. Um, it is the 16th of November, 2023. That's 16 11, 2023. Now, let's calculate um, that number. So, let's reduce it first to a single digit number. 1 plus 6 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3 equals 16 again. We are still in this magical period where you get the same number as the day. Um, wow, really beautiful, a lot of change, very karmic um, period of time. I love this. All right, now, let's um, think numbers. Number 16 um, is the combination of a 1 and 6. So that's a combination of new birth, new creativity, independence, identity, image, um, birth. With number 6, love, care, nurturing, helping, all of these things, teaching, coaching. Combine these two. And this is telling you that life, the universe, or whatever you want to call it, I call it life, it is supporting you and providing you with the necessary resources to succeed today. Okay? So today, life is putting at your disposal, you will find all the resources you need, right? And all the support you need that are necessary to your success. So there's not going to be any lack of that today. Now, let's reduce the number 16 to a single digit number. 1 plus 6 equals 7. And seven um, is as, as much as it is a number of spirituality. It is also a number of logic, right? The logic behind things. And so what does that tell me? That first of all, um, today you, it, it's going to feel more like you got, you've got to take more rational decisions, more pragmatic view towards life. Um, taking like, so... Instead of, like, you know how like sometimes I'm, I say like follow your heart, follow your gut feeling for your intuition. Today, the energy of today, it feels like it's very logical. And so it is um, talking about you um, looking at the um, like logic behind things and going for it, right? Making choices based on ration, on logic, on pragmatism. And so, now if we look at 16 and 7, that is telling me that um, you've got to use also your logic in order to tap into the necessary resources um, that are, are provided by life to you today and that are going to help you and support you in your success. So today, success is about, all about numbers is all about strategy, is all about looking at analytics, it's all about like analyzing situations, following up, um, a lot of that, okay? Beautiful, beautiful energy. Now, um, I'm going to be choosing for you your daily oracle card from the Isis oracle, and so let's see what you will get. All right, beautiful. You got the Queen of Heaven. Blessing from the Divine Empress of the Skies. All right. Um, this card doesn't have a number on it, which is telling me that um, there's an emphasis more on the numbers of the day. So the energy is the energy of the day, right? That rules. And so again, logic, life supporting you, providing you with the necessary resources to succeed. Now, before I dive in into this, um, the energy of this card, I'm going to be reading for you one of the affirmations, okay, associated um, with it. Repeat with me three times to invoke the energy. It says, I am a capable leader in my own right as I trust my values. I am a capable leader in my own right as I trust my values. I am a capable leader in my own right as I trust my values. Wow, beautiful like affirmation. Okay, let's see. Let's analyze it. First, before we do that, remember that um, 
you can always go to the community um, tab to find affirmations that um, we choose with this reading. Um, okay, and so you can check them there. You can like them. You can comment there. You can use them, save them on your um, as a screensaver. So save them as a mobile background. Meditate um, upon them. Use them as affirmation throughout your day. However you see fit. All right. Moving back to the reading, let us analyze um, uh, and look further deeply into that affirmation. So this talks, this is talking about capacity because I am a capable leader. That means you have the capacity, right? And so this again goes hand in hand with today's energy, which was saying that life is supporting you and providing you with the necessary resources to succeed. That means you have access to resources that are necessary. You have the resources that are necessary. You've got it. You are capable. You have the capacity. So this is not something that you're looking outside of yourself or outside of your um, external physical access. This is something that, you know, you already um, have access to. You are capable. So capacity here is not the issue. And so I am a capable leader because this talks about leading. Um, where can you lead in life? It could be many things, many ways, whether you are leading a class, whether you're a tutor, whether you're a teacher, whether you're a consultant, whether you're a psychologist, whether you're a psychiatrist, whether you're like a, leading a political party, whether you're leading your family, whether you're leading your friends, whether you're leading a relationship, however it applies. This talks about leading energy. Okay. And so the next sentence in that affirmation, because it says, I am a capable leader in my own right. In my own right means you don't need someone to anoint you or appoint you, right? Or put you as a leader. This means that regardless of if you're in a hierarchy, regardless of an organization, regardless of a family dynamic, regardless of anything that is surrounding you, you are in your own right a leader, right? You don't need anyone to give you that um position today you decide and you lead right and so it says i'm i'm a capable leader in my own right as i trust my values and so the way to achieve that right to achieve to, to access our capacities and to lead in our own right is to trust our values is to trust that we have like the value system that we have is our value system is what we trust is what we lead by and of course a leader always leads by example, yeah, right? Like he, they, he or she, like they don't preach. Um, it's more like really leading by example and inspiring other people. And, you know, that's how you, that's even how you teach. Like you inspire others to look for themselves, uh, like for information and all these things. I love, like this a lot. So let's look back at the card. There's a lot of fire energy again. I'm loving the fire theme for you, Saji, probably because it's like your birthday month. And okay, so for me, without, right, without going a lot into, not that I have anything against like, you know, Queen of Heaven, Divine Empress of the Sky, like whatever, but like without all of that, I'd like to focus on the energy <laughs> I'm getting off of this and like also visually what this is telling me. Um, so for me, first of all, I'm seeing a lot of um, the demeanor or the body language that I'm seeing is like there's fierce, fierceness here, right? Like she's fierce. So this is talking again about you leading. Um, second, I cannot help but notice, you know, it sort of feels like a belly dancing outfit almost. Um, so there is sensuality, there is sexuality that is using your charisma and sexuality to, to lead. And also, you know, like leaders are good, um, like usually have a lot of charisma, right? And this is not to talk about like charismatic leader or like someone, you know, I'm not talking about like you're opening a cult or brainwashing the <laughs> minds of people, no. Um, Okay, so you've got charisma, you, you can lead. Also, this is talking about, um, I don't know, from the way this might, whatever I'm talking now might not, maybe, I don't know, but it might not 
align, let's say maybe with the booklet of how they interpret this <laughs> card. But for me, as a visual person, I cannot help but, I don't know, feel that whatever this character represents, it is illustrated in a way they seem to me, as much as they're fiery, I'm not getting a lot of nurturing um, quality. Although, like this says, it's an empress, so I'm sure this card must be talking about feminine energy and empress and nutrition, um, nurturing and, uh, you know, the works. Um, for me, and given today's energy and how I'm looking at the card, I am seeing someone who is calculated, right? In a good way. Like, she knows what she's doing, she knows what she wants, and she knows how to get what she wants. Um, and for me, this goes hand in hand with the day's energy, which is logic, right? So there is logic behind um, your actions. Um, this is like thinking about what makes sense, what is logical, um, what fits more a situation, all of these things. So I'm getting a lot of mental energy with this. Um, what else? There are like shades of blue too within all this, which indicates it. So yeah, my two cents for today is that um, like march to the beat of your own drum, right? Um, make your own rules. So it is your empire, right? It's your kingdom. It's your empire. It's your queendom, whatever you want to call it. And so you make your own rules. You make your own logic. Um, you have your own value system. And this is what matters. So even if you're like in a social setting, even if you're surrounded by people who subscribe to a school of thought that you don't subscribe to, even if their lifestyle is different, their choices are different, I mean, everything, this does not make you, you know, um, any less or any, this just, this just makes them and then makes you, right? Um, so I'm feeling today that like, regardless of your environment, regardless of your surrounding, regardless of what other people choose for themselves today, you are choosing to trust in your own value system that this is what works for you. And so also to lead and to lead, you need also followers. And, and so those followers need to subscribe to that, to that same school of thought. And so you're leading here by trusting your values and by trusting that you are, you have the capacity. And so therefore you are not concerned with no, with not finding like fellow minded people, because you believe that if you have that value system and if you trust it, then there must be other people in, in the tribe that trust that and share that value system. And that's all you need to create a following or to create an empire or to create a community or to create all of that. Um, and I can feel or I can tell that whatever you're trying to build here is really based on logic, which means, okay, so this could be, let's say, a business where everyone's profiting. This could be a... Um, like multi-leveled partnership, this could be um, what else? Like crowdfunding, this could be crowd sharing, this could be um, fundraising, this could be also like a very pragmatic, a very um, a relationship also that makes sense not only when it comes to emotions but also when it when it that makes sense like in the material realm right so this is like two people sharing the same lifestyle the same vision um, wanting the same things in life pursuing the same things sharing the same passions believing the same beliefs sharing that value system you know you, you know what I'm where I'm heading with this so Today, this is where your focus is. And so you don't need to follow custom. You don't need to follow um, 
other people's. You don't need external validation. Today is all about like doing your thing, finding people who do your thing, whatever. Like you're not going to be bothered by others who don't subscribe to this. You're too busy leading your own pack sort of day and sort of energy. I like this a lot. Um, let me check the, like check with you the um, random um, daily code um, for today and see how it fits with this reading. Maybe it can shed even a better light on today's energy. Because today's energy is really like one of those energies that is really like a big headline. So like how it can manifest in your life, like the subtitles can be very different. This is like very broad, right? Let's see. Okay. Exactly. Another like quote about, um, that's also very broad and I like it. It really like goes with this reading. So it's from Lisa Nichols and it says, when you focus on something, no matter what it happens to be, you really are calling that into existence. When you focus on something, no matter what it happens to be, you really are calling that into existence. See, so here in this um, code, there is the concept of capacity, capableness, like in your own right. And so, because this says like, no matter what it happens to be, the what does not matter, right? Does not matter. At the end of the day, whatever you focus on, you're really calling that into existence. So this is like, so this is why I'm telling you, like you, you, you've got to more focus on you know, your own drums, what, what floats your boat, your thing, like without caring about external validation or what other people subscribe to. Because really, let's say, if you focus your energy on what others are doing or how they're different from your life or whatever, that is only feeding that energy. And since your life is different and you're focusing, let's say, on their life, um, that's going to be attracting more of their life's energy towards you. And this is not something that you want to do anyhow, right? You, you've got to keep your focus on your own um, thing, on your own lifestyle, on your own thing. And so that's how you call it into existence, not by focusing on something that is different or that you don't want. And, and that's exactly also how you lead and like, you know, um, create a tribe because you've got to be busy looking for fellow minded people, not too busy looking at people who don't look like you, feel like you or like subscribe to you or like have their school of thought, like whatever it, that is, right? Um, because it's just futile, right? So yeah. Okay. I like it. I like it. It makes a lot of sense. So to recap, right, today is um, a logical day, pragmatic day. Um, you're going to use your logic to, um, in order to utilize the necessary resources that, that life is supporting you and providing you with in order to succeed. And, what, and you know that whatever you focus on, no matter what it happens to be, you really are calling that into existence. So today is about directing your energy where it should be directed only. And it is because you are a capable leader, right, with all the resources in your own right. You don't need external validation as you trust your values. And doing that, you have a blessing from life um, to trust your values and move forward and lead. And a lot of people will flock with you towards that common goal or that common journey. Whether this is a spiritual community, whether this is a business, whether this is a relationship, whether this is friendships whether this is anything, all right? I love you, my Sagis. Stay blessed, aligned, and connected. Um, thank you for watching my videos till the end. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for sharing my videos on your social platform and through word of mouth. Thank you for subscribing. This is your way of supporting me. Um, if you didn't subscribe yet, I would really appreciate it if you click that subscribe button. Um, I love you so much. Thank you also for your comments. Um, I enjoy uh, reading them and replying to them. It helps me connect with you and also to see how all of this is um, like translated in your life. Um, so that's interesting. 
Yeah, I love you so, so, so much. Mm.